Hello everyone, welcome back to the epic adventures of King's Quest IV. Woo! Yay! Oh, I was kind of trying to fall down there. Whoa, okay, there we go. Was it just me or did she kind of like jump forward a little bit when she fell down? You can kind of do that on the uh, spiral staircase too. If you um, accidentally fall down at a certain point, the game will make sure she like shifts off to the side. So it looks like she's kind of flying a little bit in midair. Um, if I have time, I'll show you. But for now, uh, let's take a look at our loot. Look, sh oops, shit music. Looks very nice. Read sheet music. You can barely make out the old song written on the sheet music. Hmm, what are we going to do with that song? Maybe we can sing to it? No, we can't do that. Let's get down there. Uh, sing to sheet music? Alright, I guess we can't do that. I guess we'll have to play it. Well, we could play on the flute. Play flute to sheet music. That wouldn't be a good... How about now? Fine. Alright, well, how about the organ up here? Maybe in the meantime I can show up off that uh, jump slash death. Uh, let's save as falling. Let's slow her down a tad so I can kind of show you what I mean. Oh, that's very slow. Maybe I shouldn't make it that slow. Alright, never mind. Speed up. Okay. Alright, but let me show you what I mean. Make it nice and slow again. Uh, the, the game for some reason only lets her fall like right here. So if I go here... Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, she died? Really? Oh, that's stupid. Well, anyway, let's go up here and do what we actually came here to do. Which is uh, play the sheet music on the organ upstairs. And not falling down. Well, I kind of came... Oh! Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I promise. Okay. It's so weird just how slowly she goes up these stairs despite how fast her legs are moving. Uh, from my viewpoint anyway. You probably can't see it as well. Okay, here I go. Let's sit down and play sheet music. You find it difficult to read the old sheet music, but you attempt it anyway. She's pretty good. Olé! What is this? A small drawer has opened in the organ. What? That little dot thing? Oh, those two dots? Those are... Six dots? I can't really tell. Apparently that's a drawer. Look in drawer. You see a skeleton key in the drawer. Oh, that will, that will be handy. Take key. You take the key from the drawer. Let's look at our key. Wow. Badass. Looks like a derpy looking smiley skeleton, but that's okay. It's still a skeleton key. Those are cool. I wonder where we can use it. Can we break into people's houses? Let's find out. Let's save, because I might fall down, and I don't want to do that. How many times have I fallen down the stairs already? Uh, okay. Come on, Rosella, you can do it. Yay, we did it. Okay, 
Let's see if we can break into some houses. So this one's already open. I also kind of want to do this to um, just explore Tamir at night because I think it looks really beautiful. Check out the stars in the background. It's just well done. Okay. Oops. Open door. You can't. It's locked and you don't have the key. Unlock door with skeleton key. Crap. Uh, knock. Knock on door. You lock. Er, you knock loudly on the small door and hear a shuffling from inside. A sleepy voice calls out, Oh, sleep here! Come back tomorrow! Fine. Jeez. See, I'm not welcome anymore. Well, apparently they're not all asleep now if that guy's going to be yelling at us. How about in here? I think that's a padlock, though. I don't know if that'll work. Open door. Unlock door. Fine. Let's, let's try the giant's house. I'm a little bit scared. Oh my god, it's really eerie here. Uh, open door. Unlock door. No? Knock on door. You cautiously tap at the door, but are greeted only with the vicious barking from the other side. Oh, okay, looks like I'm okay after all. Look in window. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Oh, why is she moving so slowly? God, it's pretty here. Move faster, Rosella. Okay, I wanted to show off one more thing. Um, unfortunately, you can't go inside the fisherman's place either. But here's something interesting that you can do. If you go out to sea at nighttime, watch. You go to the left. You go to the right. Whoops. What? Okay, well, the shark got me. But point was, we got lost. If you ever go out to sea in the middle of the night, you will never make it back. You will get lost, and you will either drown or get eaten by a shark. It's kind of interesting, so we can't really visit uh, Janesta at night anyway. Alright, enough goofing around. Let's uh, go use our, the key for its intended purpose and finish our wonderful quest for our Auntie Lalot, which was to get the Pandora box. Or Pandora's box, whatever. Um, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to know this, but we have to look inside the crypt over here. Okay. Go away! Dance with the zombies! Talk to zombies! Trying to reason with the zombies is not a good idea. Okay. Uh, unlock the door. You place the skeleton key in the lock of the crypt door. Slowly you turn it. Click. It unlocked. Alright. Open door. Whoa! Wow. This is quite a room. What an incredible place. This looks like an ancient burial tomb with hieroglyphics written on the walls and an old coffin against the far wall. A pile of rope is at the edge of the upper platform. You can see an odd-looking little chest here. It must be Pandora's box. Wow. Look wall. There are ancient hieroglyphics on the walls. Look. Old coffin. Oh, they don't even want to write sarcophagus. Look coffin. Whoops. Uh, read hieroglyphics. You cannot read the ancient hieroglyphics. Alright, uh, let's move the rope. Not fall down. I bet she dies if you fall down from here. It's lame. You reach down and get the pile of rope. To your happy surprise, you find that the rope is actually a rope ladder attached to the end of the platform. Gladly, you throw the rope ladder over the edge of the platform where it falls to the floor below. Nice. Climb. I'm not close enough, really. I was just there. Okay. Look out for the mummy! Ah! 
The mummy runs from your powerful scarab. Wow, that happened really quickly. Well, let's do that again. Okay, look at mummy. This mummy appears to be at least a thousand years old. Its wrappings are loose and decayed, and it stinks. Ew, gross. Let's talk to the mummy. You attempt a conversation with the old mummy and receive nothing but a low moan in reply. Oh, we're gonna get moany and groany, are we? Kiss mummy. What a horrible thought. Uh, I just wanted to do one more thing. Kill mummy. How can you kill something that is already dead? Oh yeah? Uh, knock on coffin. There's no answer. Don't want to do that. Alright, um, how about we go ahead and take Pandora's box. Ooh, it looks evil. It's got, like, bat wings and a skull with red eyes. Makes me want to open it up. Let's save. Ah. Open box. Okay, but you'll be sorry. That was very foolish, Rosilla. Now look what you've got undone. You've loosed the terrible demons and killed yourself in the process. I loved her, that she put up her hand like, oh my. Now she's a pile of rags. Okay. Alright. I guess we'd better head on back to the lot. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention something. Um, if you know how to cheat in this game, I'm not really sure if it's just in the AGI version rather than the SCI, but uh, there are there are commands you can type into this. There's a few that would allow you to cheat and go anywhere you'd want, or I don't know stuff like that. I haven't really messed around with it, but uh, basically, if um, you can get yourself into this room without having the scarab and the game doesn't want you to do that the game uh, shouldn't allow you to do that but if you do that and you come down here the mummy will come after you and kill you and the message will be like how did you get in here without the scarab oh well you're dead it's kind of funny but I won't show that because I don't know how to do that and I'm wasting a lot of time sorry Come on, Rosella. I know you don't want to see the lot, but we have to. We promised. Well, we didn't promise, but, you know, kind of implied a promise. Oh, no! Lot smiles an evil smile. You know, she says, I've never asked her your name. What is it? You tell her, Rosella. Rosella, what a pretty name. You wonder what this is all about. You find out soon enough. Well, Rosella, a lot grins ominously, you've earned your reward. My son Edgar has fallen in love with you. I wish him to be happy, and I give you the honor of being his wife and my daughter-in-law. Your heart turns flips and somersaults as you hear this. Whoa! Whoa, Edgar. Um, game? Would you... okay. You'll be married first thing in the morning, she informs you. This game has really weird timing with text. You will sleep in Edgar's room tonight while my son sleeps elsewhere. She motions to her goons. Let us relieve you of your burdensome load before you retire. You 
You are so shocked by this tragic turn of events that you hardly notice your possessions being taken away. Oh no! Our skeleton key! To her goons, the lot orders, Escort our Rosella to her room! Oh no! Crap! You think to yourself, Now what? Oh no! Can we get out? Unlock it first. Unlock door! Oh no! Inventory! I'm carrying nothing! Look out window. Okay, well, it thinks I'm not close enough. Alright, well, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but next time we'll have to figure out how to escape this dreadful place. We're going to be married to Edgar? The green goon? Oh no! What about our father? What about Janesta? What about us? Well, find out next time. Bye for now, everyone.